What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Raj and I'm back with another player review. This time it's 98 overall final edition Mike Evans. Now of course there's a golden ticket out right there, but a lot of you don't have around a million coins to drop on a wide receiver, but you may have a couple hundred thousand to drop on a wide receiver. Now this one has 95 speed, 99 catch, 92 elusiveness, 100 spec catch, 100 release, 92 route running, 98 catch in traffic, and 100 jump for a receiver that's 6'5". That's freaking insane. He also has 98 acceleration, which is pretty key. 80 carrying for like, you know, his running stats, and then 80 run block is what a lot of people like. It's also not bad that he has 90 trucking too with 89 stiff arm, 89 stiff move, uh, spin move and a 91 juke. Now, as soon as this player came out, I was sold. I gotta be honest with you. Even though he only has 92 route running, you guys have probably seen some of my player reviews already where he's been on the squad. And here how he stack, here's how he stacks up. Now, I wanted to compare him against some of the topper tier, like top tier receivers. You know, I wasn't gonna compare him against receivers that were like golden tickets or even boss cards, but even against the 99 overall Memorial Day, cards you see how he stacks up i really want to get this jerry rice this set jerry rice but as you can see i mean he's pretty much up there now the other thing is maybe you overlook them because on paper just on a surface comparison some of these cards are gonna look better but a lot of you guys went out there and got set calvin i'm not a fan of that set calvin i think this mike evans is a lot better now here's the squad that we actually put him on remember always let me know in the comment section below who you want to see next on the player review. Give your boys some ideas, man. Now let's talk about this card while I show you the only three games that I focus on him during this player review. Now I didn't want to do all Bomb Squad plays. I like to mix up my routes so you guys can get a pretty good gauge on how good or bad these players are. And what I notice is I've been dealing with a lot of players that have way more than 95 speed, but very few of them have these kind of animations now he was able to eat up pretty much any cornerback that i came up against and the great thing about him at my bomb squad positions was that he had the speed to get the routes in but if he was covered i never had issues with him because all i would do is just aggressive catch over them and it'd be a gg right there in between three defenders as you can see he got the quick animation to get us a touchdown now playing with this card was so much fun because I felt like I could put him at any position I had uh, I needed him at. He had just enough speed. He had just enough route running. His run block was great, but then in every other scenario, he would just dominate. So it didn't really matter your play style, and that's the beauty of the beauty about this card. It's it's what I liked about him over let's say like a set Calvin. Now of course he's not going to catch everything. If you put him in situations where he's gonna fail and he's gonna get hit right away he's not gonna be that successful and he'll drop things every once in a while but he'll surprise you more often than not the other thing is that he's pretty good at running with the ball after the catch now what i was explaining to you is right here he does have a step on that safety but let me tell you, if I was going up against the free safety Dawkins, if I was going up against Sean Taylor, all people that are either as fast or faster than him, I never had any issues. And right there, as you can see, he didn't burn the secondary, but he was able to get that animation. Of course, like I said, guys, he didn't catch everything, but I literally have shown you every drop I had with him in this video. And so far, the only count is two. And, and both of those, you could argue, were my fault. Now... Against an opponent that I was playing with right here where I had a lot of lag, I still wanted to show you these plays. Because even if I was getting, as you can see right there, I was getting blitz. And he was able to get his route pretty much finished quick enough so that I can throw that ball about 15 yards down the field. On those out routes, he had enough route running and acceleration to get away from either press coverages or whatever it need be. Right here, I wasn't able to burn my opponent, and over, like, around four people, guys, he still caught that ball. So I can't get mad at the only two drops that he had if he's going to able, be able to give me some animations like that. In those three games, your boy had nine touchdowns, right? Look how much of a beast freaking Culpepper is. But then, 
He's able to make that throw, and once again, guys, he could burn pretty much anybody, man. Then I'm telling you, it's only 95 speed, but the 98 acceleration, there's something about it that allows him to make those catches. Once again, right here in traffic, jumping backwards, he's able to make the catch. Bullet pass, getting hit, no problem. So continuing on the same theme right here, my opponent knew what was going on, but he had no chance. Right there, aggressive catching over his free safety, then falling over him into the end zone. So I did review the campus hero, Mike Evans, and, it's, and I love what I saw there. Now he wasn't catching everything for him and his speed wasn't the best, but for this one guys, please time after time after time after time. Just pretty much doing everything for me. Nine touchdowns in three games for this card. I could have had more, but in some of the games I was just trying to finish it up so I can get this review out and start tonight's stream. Anyway, guys, I want to send out a quick thank you to you guys. Today's officially marks the first day that I quit my job to focus on YouTube and Twitch. So a lot more videos are going to be coming. going to be a lot more consistent. I'm not going to miss an upload date moving forward. So give me a like if you're liking the player reviews. In the comment section, let me know who else you want to see. Subscribe if you're new. But most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace. This made my scheme that much better because I could pretty much open up my playbook. Right here against Legend Ronnie Lott, as you can see, that ball was right on the money. That Ronnie Lott card is very, very fast. For 800K, man, that's like a ultimate freeze bow and one of the better cards out there at quarterback. But then this is what I meant. See, my opponent came at me with some max coverage.